And this gentleman, whom I admire, he really gets, feels very awkward when you compliment him. But he is, he is a superb artist, and I mean that. Yes. Uh, actor, comedian, uh, who's going to star in a television movie called Eunice with Carol Burnett. That should be dynamite. Mm -hmm. They finally put that together into a movie. It's going to air March 15th from 9.30 to 11 p.m. It doesn't say on what network. Maybe it's here. No, if it had been here, chance. they would have said here. <laughs> we got a chance in three, one out of three. No, we're so, uh, showing, I think, that night, Jacques Cousteau goes in search of the killer clam. I <laughs> I'm not sure, but dynamite. Would you welcome <laughs> lovable Harvey Corman? Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very curious. Would you, would you oblige me by a show of hands? Do I seem taller in person than I do on television? How many of you think I look shorter in person than I look on television? How many of you don't give a damn? What a, what a, well, what a dynamite stand-up. General, thank you. Now stand up a second. I want him to show us. I, well, I want to, I like to be there. You know they, why? Uh, look, that look. spot where you do the monologue. You don't think he is tall? But I'm shrinking. I'm only six, two and a half. When you get older, you shrink. Right. Do you really? Oh, yes. yes. I've lost a half an inch. <laughs> <laughs> you folks may make up your own joke. Right. <laughs> One of the reasons I wanted to go to that spot is that it almost has kind of a religious significance for me. You have died and returned and died and returned and died and returned. <laughs> it's almost like visiting a shrine. Hey, isn't it, though? <laughs> Johnny, before we go any further... Sure, Harv. The taller, shorter thing belongs yeah. to Tim Conway. He does that. That's his bit. Uh -huh. He does it in his nightclub act. And he accuses me of going around town on television of doing his act. So I, I want to dedicate that bit. I want to acknowledge him. That is his... Right. And I want to dedicate my entire appearance on The Tonight Show to Tim Conway. To Tim Conway. Conway. So, is there anything in here that's just toastable? Yeah, no. So, Tim, if they haven't taken your television set away, honey, <laughs> this is to you. To Tim Conway, uh, the man. Uh, the man, the myth. The, um, the myth. And the legend. The legend and to his career, what's left of it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, as you know, I'm putting him on, but I mean, his career is okay. It's resting a little bit now, but it's... <laughs> he is one of the funniest men, if not the yes. funniest men in the world. I, I really believe Spending that. Spending time with him is... Didn't you hear the fine introduction I gave you? Superb, I believe you called me that. Superb? A superb artist. Thank you, sir. That's true, you are. No. I don't, really don't know how to take those. I really don't... I, I, I saw Jane Pauley before I came out, and she paid me a great compliment. I don't... I don't give what I do very much value. Why is that? I don't know. I'm sick and disturbed. <laughs> well, I know that, but I mean, still. When people... Let me tell you about Tim. I'd rather talk about Tim. I've got to tell you what happened to him last week in I this... I could have asked Tim here, you know, if I wanted to talk to Tim, but... No, go ahead. <laughs> now, now, you, now, now I put you off, and I, I noticed it. Gosh, Ooh. your eyes are blue. I know. <laughs> Anyway, believe this, this happened for true this week in a department store in Los Angeles. He is in the men's section of a department store going through a rack of jeans. And he's standing there and he's going through the rack. And an old lady, about a 65-year-old lady, comes up to him and says, Excuse me, where are your jockey shorts? And he says, Right here. <laughs> He would do that. He said if she would have said, where are the jockey shorts, that could have been a, he says, where are your, your jockey, jockey shorts? to tell her. Right. Do you, uh, do you hang out with him? I hang out as much as I can. It is great fun being with him. Yeah. I got to tell you, about, in November, about a week or two before Thanksgiving, he was over at my house, and we were sitting around, you know, just getting bombed. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I know you don't want to talk about that. But something, it did happen to me once about 10 years ago. Yeah. I was stopped in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. And uh, 
and they stopped me. And, uh, <laughs> and I said, I am not drunk. I, I'm not, I have been very careful. I, was, I know I wasn't speeding. And he says, I know you weren't. You weren't doing anything. You were just hanging out in the middle of the road. <laughs> And he said, hey, Charlie, look who I got here. He says to a guy in a car, look who I got here. Uh, what's his name from the Burnett Show? And he says, I can't give you a ticket for a big star like you. So would you just give me an autograph for my wife? So anyway. You, uh, you, you got off with an autograph. I'm going to the chair. I mean, you, we'll be right back so Harvey can cheer me up some more right after this. Wasn't that, God, that's uh, good. Wasn't that good? We're talking with Harvey Corman, back tour, back on tour. Big tipper. Big tipper and all those things. And anyway, to finish that story about Thanksgiving, it was yeah. a, a week before Thanksgiving, and I had called my ex-wife, and we were trying to plan what to do on Thanksgiving, because we like to have it together. The children and her ex, uh, right. my, uh, my uh, her husband, my ex, her. So <laughs> she said, well, okay. You get together with her ex-husband also? Oh, yes. I like him very much. He's on this network, as a matter of fact. He's on McLean's Law. His name is George DeShenzo. Oh. And That's he is her current husband, and I love him. He's a great guy. Anyway, we're all, we like to be together on Thanksgiving. So he said, where are we going to have it this year? She says, well, I think I can make it this, this year, and I can, uh, it will take me about two days to do it, so I won't be able to come to your golf tournament, which I have in November. Right. I says, so Tim was listening to this. He says, it's going to take her two days to do a turkey dinner. He ran out. This was about 6 o'clock. He ran out to the market, brought back a turkey and pie and fresh cut flowers. We had a turkey dinner at 12.30 that night. He just had to prove her wrong. <laughs> he did cook the turkey at 500 degrees, so we had turkey tartare. <laughs> he is wonderful. He's just such yeah, a great crazy. guy to hang around. You know, you know, when you get uh, together with funny guys, right? Like, we get together with a guy, he and a guy named Ron Clark, who's a writer, okay. and we just take premises, as you know, right. and just... Now, we had a premise the other night that went on for a half hour. Did you read the newspaper about the lady who was on the airplane and trying to smuggle cocaine through, and she ha swallowed 50... She died from it. Yes, yeah, she swallowed 50 balloons full of cocaine, and evidently one of them inflated and, yeah. and burst, and she overdosed and died. This was your comedy premise? Well, the premise had to do with the people on the receiving end. The people, their consternation when she didn't sure. arrive... And, and even the consternation if she did arrive, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really want to labor that anymore. Mm -hmm. But you do know that this is, for many years, a device where, where drugs are brought in and out of prisons and everything I by guess so. putting it down the digestive tract. I would think that would be... Uh... And then the recovery and all that stuff. We don't, we don't really want it. But anyway, he did 30 minutes on that. Which... On somebody who had bought some of this... Well, no, we don't want to really go any further. I guess we this, don't. But guess we don't. most of the stuff, I mean, I am lying on the floor laughing, and, but we can't talk about it here, and I'm sorry I brought it up. You just kind of do, you kind of just do lead-ins here, and then, and then that's it. I, are you being cross with me now? No, 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 I'm not, I'm not cross. All right, let's change the subject. Okay, I am going I'll to, tell you, what? Tell you what I'm going to do. I found this in my desk that had been sitting there. You can look at the pages, how yellow they are. I don't know what it's from. I guess it's from a... A questionnaire from people filling out a job or something, or just to find out about it. And since I know you so well, it's difficult to just sit and ask you questions. And so I, I looked at some of these here, for example. Okay. Um, well, these aren't too good either. <laughs> Looking at your career, what would you uh, most like to be doing 20 years from now? I think I'll be in the home. <laughs> <laughs> One weekend they'll come with a pickup truck and they just... No, what would you like to be doing 20 years from now? Oh, just to be alive to see my children and my grandchildren and be able to get up in the morning and have breakfast and go play golf. Smell the flowers. And... Smell anything. And, uh... <laughs> well, okay, uh, that's a... That's a that's and I, you, know what I really, you know what I'd love to do is be able to make a difference in the world, to be able to yeah. participate and to, and to be of service to you people. You have made I'm... a difference in the world. I still... Yeah, that's really... That's what you I see, like you, don't, to do. you don't think so, but you have made a difference in the world. How have I made a difference to you? I think by entertaining and bringing laughter and joy to people, that yeah. makes a big difference in the world. It does. I it think that's a very important. You know, if people laugh, you make them happy. Absolutely. Yeah. 
That sometimes is better than lots of other things, you know? Yeah. You entertain people. They sit at home and they, they watch you and they have a good time and you've made their life happier. That's true. That's, That's not true. bad. You don't I, think about that, you see. I do, but I don't give it much value. I, you, I know wanted, that you want to discover something like, you want to be like Fleming, discover penicillin or something. No, right? but Is I, that what you're thinking? No, I don't want to discover penicillin. Well, of course, it's already been discovered. Oh, that's why I don't want to do it. But I, I think there's other things we can do besides just making people laugh. Well, we are just we are something beyond just being actors and comedians. We're total human beings. We are members of the of the world community. We are sure. concerned with social issues. I and, know that. And social issues. Yes. Have you thought of ever running for? Why don't you run? Right to life issues. Why don't you run? Do you know what the latest Jewish position is? <laughs> On right to life? What is the latest Jewish position? It on is a right fetus until it gets out of medical school. <laughs> I'm involved in stuff like that. I That's, know you that are. was just I a know you joke, are. but and I know what you're saying. Hunger. I'm uh, devoted to ending hunger in this world. I'm going to Chicago Friday. I'm going to be doing a speech in Chicago uh, for the Association of Children with Learning Disabilities. Right. I'm going to London. I'm going to do a picture. Then I'm going to. I, I'm doing a lot I of. I think stuff. that's great that you have other. Concerns. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go back to your thing. Well, uh, after that, I mean, this is this is nothing. <laughs> Ask me something really intimate. I'll give you the truth. I'll tell you the honest truth in what, front of everybody. What's your worst habit? <laughs> I think I pick my nose. Why did I ask that question? Why did I Especially ask? Especially when that I'm question? driving and you're at a stoplight and you're. <laughs> Some guys looking over at you. Yeah. Hey, isn't that what's his name from the? Yeah. Serves no purpose whatsoever. I'm sorry. I'm. I suppose this is really a very well. This is this is an honor of Tim, anyways. So. That's right. So you can. Blame so if I bomb tonight, it's blame that on him. It's Tim. You're going to London to make a picture. Going to London to do Pink Panther. Oh great! They're going to continue those. Yes, you know it's amazing. Did they get somebody to replace Sellers? That's not job. replace Sellers. They have a new guy who's going to be kind of a bumbling detective. Right. But they have about two hundred thousand feet of unused Peter Sellers footage. Oh, he was so, so good. So they're going to have a they'll flashback. So they'll have a lot of Peter that Sellers. That would be sensational. Pictures. I'm playing a wonderful character, a German character named Dr. August Balls, and. <laughs> That is the name of the Gerhard character. Chairman. Yes, he sells disguises. He sells odd noses, unique goiters, carbuncles. <laughs> Would you like to see something in a hump? <laughs> a nice 42? Yes, a nice 42 hump. Yes, a nice hump. Okay, we're going to take a break here and... Uh, Can I leave now? No, no. Jane Paul